At the end of the 20th century, Ricardo Lopez was the king of the smallest weight category of professional boxing. He has been included in the pound for pound rating for several years and defended his WBC champion belt 20 times, winning against everyone who was in this rating, as well as against the WBO champion, Alex Sanchez. But from the WBA side, there was a real threat to the Mexican champion. The young, four years his junior, world champion from Nicaragua, Rosendo Alvarez. The Nicaraguan cleared from his path both undefeated brothers, Porpaoan, and knocked out the fighter who had previously caused Lopez the most problems, Kermin Guardia. The fight of the two undefeated champions was inevitable. Don King organized this most ambitious event in the history of the smallest weight category. Who would have thought it would end the way it did? After a tense start to the battle, where Lopez was unable to take control of his shorter counterpart, the fighters entered the second round. Almost immediately, Alvarez was able to plant his terrible right swing, just on the chin, in response to the actions of the Mexican from a distance. Knocked down, the first and only in Lopez's great career. He was shot, but then his champion character appeared. He forced himself to endure. Alvarez immediately tried to wipe out his opponent and wanted to do it without fail by a right cross. Ricardo now knew where to expect trouble and tightly overlapped his left shoulder and forearm, trying to extinguish the blows of the Nicaraguan. Even with his back to the ropes, the taller Lopez acted competently, did not lean back, but rested against the ropes, putting his forehead towards the blows and hiding his chin. He managed to repay the impulse of the young champion. At the end of the round, the Mexican struck his opponent several times with a jab, stopping him and then adding a good right cross. He says he doesn't go in looking for the knockout, but if it comes, it comes. There's the left uppercut, a right countering shot by Alvarez at the bell. The fight ended in a controversial draw after stopping due to an injury, and each champion remained undefeated. Six months later, they had a fantastic rematch that determined the best fighter of the minimum weight in boxing history. That's all for now, friends. If you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any interesting videos. See you again.